Hello everyone, I'm Sarah with Beyond Fabric and welcome to another Make It Monday. Today we are going to show you how to make a super easy burp cloth. Everybody knows somebody that's having babies, so this is the perfect gift to give them. These Make It Monday demos can be found on our website at www.beyondfabricinc.com. There's a calendar of events. You can go to previous ones and past months. You'll see them on Mondays, and there will be a link to the video on our YouTube channel. Now, you can always subscribe on our YouTube channel. Make sure to get notified when we have new videos post. So let's get started and make this burp cloth. So you will have a free downloadable pattern. It'll download like this, and you're going to put it together so that it looks like this. You're going to match these up, tape it together, and this is your pattern. When you go to cut out your fabric, you are going to need a back fabric, a front fabric, and your innard fabric, as we're going to call it. I'm using a flannel for the inside. It'll be super absorbent because we know those babies are going to spit up all over us. And I have a flannel for one side and a cotton for the other. You can use a cotton flannel. You can use a flannel flannel. You can use a cotton cotton, however you want to do it. I like the contrast of texture. So I'm going to do a flannel, a cotton, and then of course my super absorber middle flannel. So we have our three pieces. When you go to cut out your fabric, it is going to be on a fold. And you're going to match up where it says cut one on the fold and you're going to cut one of your outer both sides and then one for your inner so you should have three layers of fabric let's go ahead and layer these up and get to sewing All right, as we were saying, we have our two outer pieces and then we have our inner piece. You're gonna take your two outer pieces and you're going to lay them and get our strings out of the way, strings, right sides together. And that actually brings up a point. I have strings because I did pre-wash my fabrics and I would encourage you to pre-wash your fabrics. Because these are burp cloths, they are going to be washed quite a bit. So we want to go ahead and get any of that weird shrinkage out of the way, especially because we know this heavy flannel in the middle is going to shrink up a good bit. So go ahead and pre-wash everything before you cut it out. So we have our two pieces for the outsides. We are sandwiching them right sides together. And if we need to, we will iron that little crease in the middle, which we're going to do. And my iron's still cut off, so it's not as hot, but it'll be fine. And then you take your inner fabric and layer it right on top. And we're going to pin it and take it over to the machine and sew. All right, we have our burp cloth sandwich made. We are going to take all three layers, sew all the way around, except for a spot that we're going to leave so that we can flip it. Make sure to leave a spot big enough to flip it. Let's get started. We are using a 3 8 seam allowance. And I'm using a neutral thread. Back stitch when you start. We're just gonna take our time and we're going to stitch around, keeping all three layers lined up on the side. I really like the shape of these burp cloths. They lay really nice on your shoulder. And they're big enough that in an emergency situation, you can also lay it down and change the baby on them. Makes perfect baby gift for showers. Set of eight of them, perfect for a new mommy. Be 
because we are pre-washing the fabrics, you're gonna need a third of a yard of your outer fabrics and your inner fabric, but you'll be able to make two burp cloths out of it. Even cute to take all your little scraps and piece them together, make a big rectangle and then cut the shape out and you'll have a quilted one. Okay, we have reached our other side of where we're gonna leave our opening. We're going to back stitch and cut the thread. So now we have stitched all the way around our burp cloth. We are going to take our pinking shears and now we're going to pink it. As we've discussed in previous videos, it is important to pink your curves. We wanna get that extra bulk out of there so that it lays nice and flat. And also, I'm not sure if I mentioned, but just to reiterate on the opening, do not leave the opening on the curve. Make sure that it is on that back part where it's straighter. Almost done. And the home stretch. Okay, so we have all our curves pinked. And now we're going to take where our hole is. You're gonna reach through the two sides that are right sides together is where we're going to pull this, not where your lining is. So the two pieces that are right sides together because we want those two sides facing out. Reach in and flip. And this is why you need a hole big enough to flip. If not, this could be a 30 minute process. Oh, it's gonna be so cute. Almost makes me wanna have another one. All right, so now let's go over and press these seams nice and flat and then top stitch so we can close that hole. All right, so we have it over on our ironing board and we are going to press so everything is nice and flat. You could even monogram their initials on it before you make it. You can even do little appliques. There's so much you could do with these burp cloths. Where we have our opening right here, we wanna make sure that it is nice and flat. Our edges are pushed in and we're gonna do an extra little pressing right there. So when you're happy with your curves, everything looks nice. We're gonna go back over to the machine and we're going to top stitch around it, which will close up that hole. You could do a decorative stitch, you could do a straight stitch. It doesn't really matter. We just wanna stitch right along the edge to make sure that that seam stays nice and flat and of course, closes the hole. Let's stitch around. All right, we have the edge lined up near our foot and we're just going to do a straight stitch around this. And while we're doing that, we just closed up the hole. If you have a lot of fun stitches on your machine, you could do like a little flower stitch around the edge, a little swirly, any sort of decorative top stitching. This will be a thicker 
area. So you may have to change your needle to a 14 if you're seeing that it's struggling to get through. I am using a 12. Okay, before I get over to the other side, I want to trim my threads because I'm going to go right over the top of it and then back stitch. So I'm going to get rid of those extra threads so that I don't have a thickness there. We're about to meet up with our other side, back stitch, and catch your thread. Now that we have stitched around, we have a burp cloth. And now you can go give it as a gift or go use it on your own baby. Now remember, don't forget to go to our YouTube channel if you like seeing these videos. Make sure to click that bell so you get notified every time we post a Make It Monday video. These are all free demos and the pattern is downloadable on our website at www.beyondfabricinc.com under Make It Mondays. Happy sewing!